Well, leading up to the SpongeBob SquarePants 400 at Kansas Speedway, some special visitors talked with students at Argentine Middle School today. And the Now KC's Allison Bruner is live at the Kansas Speedway with the story. Hey, Allison. Hey, Justin, well, I can tell you these students learned that NASCAR is far more than racing. But I want to show you something really cool going on behind me here at Kansas Speedway. Take a look. NASCAR officials are doing official inspections here. Now, earlier, those drivers spoke to students about why racing first starts in the classroom. The NASCAR Foundation inspiring our young students to become winners. Educating kids about the aerodynamics of cars, the G-forces uh, that the drivers go through and everything. Students learned about the three Ds of speed, drag, downforce, and drafting. NASCAR is basically all about three things. Math. Math is one of the major ones of the aerodynamics, the speeds of the winds, speeds of the car. It creates more friction between the tires and track. NASCAR making learning fun at Argentine Middle School. It's fast. <laughs> it's legal. But when you can apply those things and when you understand that physics makes a difference in the, at the racetrack or, you know, even if it's just simple math, like how many tires do the teams get during the race and how many times they can change them, all those kinds of things can apply anywhere from, you know, a first grade all the way up to high school. The love of racing with education at the heart of it. Getting an education is important, and then no matter what else happens in your life, nobody can ever take an education away from you. And and of course, drivers and students not forgetting about that famous square yellow sponge that lives in a pineapple. I'm going to be in the number 11 SpongeBob SquarePants car. Kansas Speedway and NASCAR setting our kids up for the checkered flag. Start your engines. And NASCAR also gave Argentine Middle School uh, free school supplies today, like Kindles and 3D printers, as well as several other schools got those supplies. But back now to these inspections, I want to tell you, Jess, I just asked these official crew members here. They tell me that if the uh, car is, is in good condition, it only takes them about four minutes to inspect one of these cars. It takes them about three hours to do all of the car inspections here at Kansas Speedway. Lots of fun out here. We will definitely join you uh, in another 30 minutes. Justin? And Allison, before this is all over, I'm expecting an exclusive interview with SpongeBob, all right? Of course, just for you and of course uh, our producer, Jamie, who loves NASCAR, right? <laughs> she sure does. Yeah. Thanks, Allison.